Hello fellow horror collectors and welcome to the channel. If you don't know, my name is Mike and in this video I'm going to be giving my thoughts and showing off the freshly announced Art the Clown Terrifier Mask. This time from TinsleyTransfers.com and when you find out who made this mask and where it's coming from, you too will know that this is the best Art the Clown mask that you can get your hands on today. Not even close, with all due respect to other companies. So without further ado, let's slice right into it. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and talk about the brand new Art the Clown Terrifier mask that was just announced today on all of the Terrifier social media official accounts and the man himself, Damien Leone. I'm going to tell you right now, this is bar none the best Art the Clown mask we have ever gotten. Whether you want to use it for display purposes, like I'm going to, or you want to use it as a Halloween mask. Us horror collectors, we love accuracy. We love the likeness to be spot on. And don't take my word for it. If you guys have not seen it, take a look at these pictures and something that Damien Leone himself said on his Instagram account and his Twitter, I believe. Go ahead and take a look at these photos and you can judge it for yourself. Here we go. All right, so here we have the first mask right here, because if you don't know, this mask is going to be available in four different variants. So the first one we got here, of course, is the standard Art the Clown Terrifier mask. This thing looks absolutely ridiculously accurate. I love this. His eyes, the nose, even his cheekbones, the paint app, everything about this is just so spot on that it's almost haunting. And the reason why this is so accurate, for those that don't know, is this mask was actually made by Kristen Tinsley. And Kristen Tinsley, him and his studio, he's a special effects makeup artist, they actually did the special effects on Terrifier 3. You can see them right here on his Instagram page. So they were a big part of making Terrifier 3. And the reason why this mask is so accurate and it sets itself apart from every other mask that we've gotten is the simple fact that this was actually taken from the molds, the shaped sculptings that were used on David Howard Thornton, who plays Art the Clown, if you don't know, straight from the set of the movie. And that's why this mask looks so damn accurate because it can't get any more accurate than this. This is the gentleman that made it happen along with Damian Leone of course and David Howard Thornton that brought it to life and that's why this mask is so unbelievably accurate and why I myself am picking up at least one of these masks. I'm not going to get all four but I am going to get one or two for sure. So this mask right here, the original Art the Clown mask is, is available right now for $79.99. And if you don't know, all these masks are available for pre-order right now. There's a link down in the description box below where you can pick up any of these masks if you want to get one or all four or anything in between. The link is down in the description down below. They are up for pre-order right now but it says um, guaranteed delivery by October 1st. So just in time for Halloween and just in time right before we get Terrifier 3 on the big screen. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next variant that you can get right now. So the next variant you can get here, of course, is Art the Clown once again, but this time a bloody variant. I say it all the time, blood makes everything better. This thing looks so awesome. It's everything you love about art, everything you love about Terrifier, everything you love about David Howard Thornton's portrayal of this character, but this time he's covered in blood. My personal opinion, the coolest look for Art the Clown. Honestly, any horror slasher icon, you splash some blood on him, and like I said, it makes it all better. Again, an absolutely stunning, stunning mask. It's just beautiful with the astonishing detail, superior paint, it's ultra-realistic, and expert sculpting from the man himself. Like I said, Christian Tinsley, he worked on the film, he knows this makeup, and it's just absolutely stunning how realistic this mask is. So if you want the bloody version, it's going to set it's going to cost $89.99 for this high-end latex mask for the bloody variant. But there's also two more variants to look into, so let's go ahead and show you guys the next one that you can pick up. So the next one you got here, you guys, as you can see, it is Art the Clown once again. Still looks spot on, still looks absolutely perfect, but if you notice on the top of the head, it is 
autographed. So this is a signed version that you can get of the original latex mask, but this one will be signed by Damien Leone, which obviously, if you don't know, um, creator, director, ever, I mean, he, he is Terrifier. Damien Leone, director, maker, creator, special effects extraordinaire, Damien Leone, signed by him, and also David Howard Thornton, the incredibly talented man who brings Art the Clown to life. So you can get the mask with both signatures on it already ready to go, or if you want to pick up the original and go to a convention, and you might get the chance to meet one of these guys. Um, I've had the chance to meet David Howard Thornton. He was super cool. It was a ton of fun. But you can get the mask right now, signed by both of them. And this one is going to cost $250 even. You can pre-order it right now. But taking a look at the fourth and final variant you can get for this mask. Now this one I am 100% pre-ordering right now after this video and possibly the bloody one too. Maybe the original. Maybe I'm going to end up getting three of them. I'm not sure. I'm sure during editing in this video I'm going to get so excited looking back at these photos. I'm probably going to get two or three of these masks. But check out the last option you guys. So the last option, you can see it right here. It was the first image we ever got of Terrifier 3 and what we could expect from Terrifier 3. And here we have Art the Clown Santa. He's covered in blood with the Santa hat, with the Santa beard, with the, the wig on, and it just looks absolutely incredible. This is the first thing we've seen from Terrifier 3. So I look at this and it just makes me so excited because I don't know what to expect. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be the opening scene in Terrifier 3. That's just a guess. But seeing Art dressed up as Santa in his own bloody way from the film Terrifier 3 that obviously is not even out yet. This gives me chills and goosebumps in all the right ways. This mask, again, available for pre-order right now. And this mask is going to be 99 99. Now, if you're new to, to collecting masks, like high-end, real, well-made latex masks, these are all very well-priced, in my opinion, by a crazy, crazy talented gentleman. And I think this is well, well worth the price. If you pick up one, you pick up all of them, or anything in between. I just wanted to make this video so I can get more eyeballs on these masks, because not only do I believe these are high, high quality collectibles that would look good in any horror collection, mine or yours. But I want more people to see this because I think that they deserve, um, they quite honestly, they deserve to get these in more collections worldwide. Art the Clown is becoming a fast horror icon. You know, people say he's a horror icon right now. I'm not sure, but I'm telling you what, he's getting closer and closer and closer to becoming an icon status. So I really wanted to put this video out there just to let you all know about these masks if you're interested in them. Again, the description down below is where you can pick one up. And please, if you're going to pick one up, let me know down in the comments if you're going to buy one and which one you're going to buy because I would love to know. But of course, I want to say thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. I cannot tell you how much it truly, truly does mean to me. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can do so right there for a more personal look at my life of horror. But just one more time before we go, I want to remind you that my name is Mike and this is my design.